cold November morning uh, when we went up to have a look at the boat. Um, the frost, you can see the frost on the top of the boat, so it must have been easily um, zero degrees or very, very, um, very, very low uh, temperatures, so maybe plus one, plus two. Um, the reason why we chose this boat was because um, we liked the size of the galley, we liked the size of the saloon, um, it was in very good condition. The windows needed a bit of work, but I'm told that Aquiline windows can sometimes be a bit dodgy, the catches and so on fall off. Uh, but generally speaking, this boat is in very, very good condition. And for a 2012 boat, um, we were really happy with her. Um, the fact that we've got a potential single slash double second berth um, is uh, a bonus. Um, but bathrooms incredibly nice with granite surfaces and a large shower enclosure um, and you know plenty of storage there's a washer dryer and a cupboard just in, under the counter there and then in the main bedroom you've got plenty of storage um, lots of wardrobe space uh, a double bed and then double doors out onto the bow What is quite interesting to watch is um, as the boat gets lifted up, um, you can hear a sort of strange sort of suction sound as the uh, the bottom of the hull leaves the water. It um, it's quite uh, disconcerting when you hear it because you think that um, something's snapped or something's gone wrong, uh, but actually all it is is just the it's literally the sound of the hull leaving the water. And to be fair, this hull hasn't been lifted out or this boat hasn't been lifted out since it was built in 2012, so it desperately needed blacking. Desperately needed blacking. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, it's all stuff that we can do and we've allocated the cost for. Um, and um, Mike, the guy that was doing the lift out, was going to do the blacking for us anyway. So, uh, and you'll see in um, later videos what a fantastic job that he's done. I mean, it's so much neater. Um, and in actual fact you'll probably see it later on in this video when we um, we show you the naming ceremony which is a bit of a lame attempt um, to rename the boat um, and appease the uh, the gods of the waters uh, Neptune or Poseidon I'm not quite sure which one uh, but my wife who uh, assures me that this is the procedure um, performed the ceremony and you'll see her doing that a little bit later on in the video <laughs> you sort of keep behind me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's recording. Okay. So whilst we're out the water, um, and the boat has to be out the water to actually rename her. We'd like to change her name from Dilly Mouse. We'd better ask Neptune for permission to do so. So can we change the name from Dilly Mouse to We're on the Move? Can we give a little bit of drink to uh, Neptune? And then, would you like one? All over the paintwork, look. Yeah. Cheers! Aren't you supposed to say a prayer or something? You are supposed to say a prayer, but we're not going to do that, are we? Aren't we supposed to ask for the good fortune of the boat when it gets put back in the water? 
we are. We're supposed to ask Neptune um, to look after this boat and everyone who's in her on board, um, just to look after and take care of her. Make sure we don't get stranded in any locks. Eric! Eric's drinking all the water. Eric, do you want a little drink? Right, recording. Going down well. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Do a little bit more, just for luck. Yeah, go on in. Just in case. There you go. What just view up there? There you do. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just going to do a quick outside of the boat. As we look at the um, back end of the boat um, or the uh, stern end, you'll see uh, just below the blue paintwork this lovely blacking that Mike's done. It's smooth, it's crisp, it just really freshens the look of the boat, makes it look a whole lot neater. But as we move along, you'll see there's some large windows. We're going to try and replace those and double glaze them. You might just be able to make out the rust spots by the two portholes. They're just to the bottom of the windows and it looks like the seals have gone. Um, so it's just been starting to rust. I think it's been treated, uh, but um, it definitely needs to be repainted. Well that's it for this episode. Julie and I would like to thank you for watching. Um, if you get a chance please like and subscribe the channel um, and give us a thumbs up.